Hello everybody and welcome back to Beta Days. I'm Beanin and today we are going to be taking a break from building stuff like this and focusing on building more of the house. It's been quite neglected and I'm in the building mood in this world, but I don't exactly want to build something that keeps me up until one in the morning. So the parts we're going to be working on in the house here today will be the yard and the land for uh landforming the <laughs> the terraforming there we go around here you know kind of getting everything fixed up so we have a pretty uh little area out here so we have a pretty little area out here and you know we can have start kind of working on this because it'll be nice once we get things you know up and working and i can have like an infinity pool right here and then up here we can uh start digging out uh here so i can even have maybe another section of the basement i don't know i got to figure out what i'm gonna do and i also got to figure out if i'm gonna go any further this direction i don't think i'm going to but today's focus is the yard please remember to leave a like leave a comment and subscribe i post videos every monday wednesday and friday with streams and other random videos thrown in between if you didn't catch last episode well we built that <laughs> I don't really have to explain that much, but what I'm gonna do real quick is go in here and replace these blocks. Uh, sing us out. Okay, I want this one to be down. And I guess this one will be up following the cadence of everything, but I'm gonna go ahead and grab some kelp and fix that so we have a fully functional uh, farming area. <laughs> and I think I might change the lanterns in there but i don't know so we're gonna do that real quick and then we'll get started on what is it uh <laughs> terraforming the yard right so first things first let's just get the tedious stuff out of the way and dig out this area i'm gonna go ahead and remove all of these because i don't really need that much <laughs> bamboo laying around and it's also kind of ugly um I know I'm in a position right now where digging for or digging stuff out probably isn't the smartest thing to do because uh, I'm having some storage issues, which I will have to make warehouses for down here. But I'll do that once, you know, I'm not tired of building all that, <laughs> but we'll find a way to make storage. And if worst case scenario, I can always make more chests. So up here, I'm thinking about having, you know, like a pool maybe, or or up there. One of these areas, I'll have a pool, and then like, you know, here I'll have stairs down, and we'll, you know, walk down there. But up here, I need to kind of just dig out to where my... Uh, oh, was I supposed to finish that? I think I was. Hmm. Okay, but I'm just gonna dig out right here and then dig down. <laughs> so I'm gonna do that and then, yeah, we can get to decorating and stuff. All right, well, that actually wasn't that horrible uh, in terms of getting dirt. <laughs> I am gonna switch out to my silk touch pickaxe though, because, well, I mean, come on. <laughs> Ooh, efficiency five, that's real nice. Because, well, uh, this is also a good way I can get materials. So normally if I do a project like this, it doesn't, well, it's because of two things. Either A, I got tired of building like that, or B, uh, I need resources and I need a project to do them. Or I need a project that can get me the resources, but I can also get something done while I'm collecting the resources. So I hope no one thinks like this is like, oh, well, he just doesn't feel like making an episode. Trust me, if I didn't feel like making an episode, I wouldn't make it. But sometimes you just got to have the you know, smaller tasks like this so that we can have the big tasks like that. And, you know, I also do have to balance this with work still. So there's that aspect of it. I don't want to be too sleepy in the morning because I tell you. Tuesday, Tuesday, or Monday morning was hard. Like Monday morning, or well, yeah, Monday mornings are usually hard, but I mean, they're even harder when you add in, like not, uh, for some reason I wasn't able to sleep until like three in the morning or like four after that. 
and I had already played the game until one in the morning and oh, it was just a recipe for disaster so yeah I just usually you it's interesting one of the things I've learned with YouTube you have to kind of learn to balance um, the different projects when you can do the big stuff when you can do the little stuff sometimes you know if I don't get because it's summer too it's a lot harder for me to get uh, my Sundays in where I actually record all the videos in one go um, and now I have to record them usually the night before I release them uh, and it just makes it all harder because I can't play in the background during the week to get like resources and everything off camera so I hope you guys understand but I do enjoy making them still there's there's no shortage of enjoyment <laughs> I just don't want you guys to feel like I'm just making episodes that's like yard work uh just to be lazy there's there's a purpose behind it also something that happened which happened a lot quicker than I thought uh we hit 900 subscribers which is crazy uh my videos are doing back to normal <laughs> they're back to normal in terms of uh numbers but yeah we hit 900 subscribers so big thank you to all the people who watch my videos new and old um you know that's that's part of part of the fun in it you know like i make these because they're fun but then it's also fun to see people enjoy it and watch us grow um i will like i always say every milestone i am 100 percent honest with i want to get to 100,000 subscribers so i can get a plaque and i think that would just be that's just a good personal goal that i want to do but i'm not gonna rush i don't have any pressure to perform we're just gonna see what happens all right now that that's cleared out i get to go ahead and <laughs> Put everything I just made, er, put everything I just mined back into the ground, but in a different form. Uh, <laughs> this is just all part of the terracing process, honestly. I think I'm gonna, let's see, having a retaining wall right here would be, I don't know, kind of weird. Like, if I just had it big, so I'm gonna have to terrace this part. I think I'm gonna stick with the cadence of uh, two tall terraces. And then go up here and terrace back. Uh, let's see. I guess we can terrace. Uh, you know, I want it to be level with right here. So we'll terrace all of this. Uh, well, starting up here. So this one will just have to be like the, you know, the, I guess... The ground level that it is right here and we can add ugh, freaking seeds uh we can add you know the different levels because i don't want it to be um you know super long and flat because if you look at this look it's all one size and so i want this right here to be sort of a break in the shape and we can you know go up kind of step our way up to the top of the mountain um i'm not gonna do too much on this side though because uh you know i don't want i don't want to build before i get up to this level of building which i do have um but i think right here will be an overhang so we'll 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 see, we'll see what we'll work with but now i'm just going to do the more ter boring terracing and then we'll get into the fun stuff of decorating at least these two back terraces just had to spend a ton of diamonds and a ton of levels on this uh pickaxe and shovel i know i need to get mending i know someone's gonna leave a comment like hey you need to get mending and and i will but right now i'm focused on this and kind of figuring out how to get this to look because i'm it's a little hard building on the side of a mountain just because you know you could keep going around this like forever so <laughs> it's like where does where does the the yard stop um and where does the rest of it begin but now that i've got this little area kind of marked out let's get into the actual like fun stuff of the build not any of this stinky there you go <laughs> stinky um uh, what is it called? Digging? Yeah. Something like that. Now I'm going to grab some of this. Uh, well, I'll grab that. Because we're going to start with a pool. And personally, 
I think the pool would look best over in this corner. I mean, it's a wide area. It's got a lot of space and we can dig out, you know, where we want and a corner infinity pool always looks cool. So I think I'm going to do one, two, three, four, five. So right here. Okay. Five for right here. And then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. All right. Was that seven? One, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Cool. And then we'll do this. Uh oh. Oh, wait. So this is going to be the interior of the pool, obviously. And again, the way you make infinity pools in Minecraft is easy. Just do this. And you can add um, a waterfall. I don't personally. Just because, I don't know, it doesn't make sense. And then I always do... Yeah. Two is always a good amount. I always... Yeah, I always do two. Um, well, actually, I do one and a half. Because it's deep enough to swim in. And... It's, you know, not bad. But when you do this, you got to remember to uh, put the water down before the slabs. Because if you don't, then you're going to end up with having to sit there and do every single block because the water won't spread. So let's grab the bucket and then... Actually, ooh, wait. Do I have any, like... I need, like... Mm, you know what? We'll see. I have silk touch, so we'll see what normal glass looks like. And then we can um, uh, figure out, you know, what we... Oh, wait, but there's... Oh, wait, I've got lapis lazuli. That's... Hmm. I don't know. Oh, or, oh ooh. but the watercolor is black. Okay, let's just do one thing at a time here. So since I have silk touch, let's go ahead and test the glass and then we'll color it, you know, once we fill it up. Hmm. I don't know. It looks nice like this. You know, you can see. But ah, from here with the with the color, it just looks a little weird. What if I may... Ooh, hold on. Now, I could make it blend in with the grass. Let's try, let's try some blue glass. I feel like the blue is... Uh, gonna look nice. Plus, we don't use lapis lazuli for anything. Let's try you. Alright, now. See what this does. 32. I think that's way more than I need. Alright, it's gonna get a little messy for a second. Alright, let's see if we can just... Okay. Hmm. I mean that. Yeah, that's 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 closer. So what I'm trying to do is just get like the closest that I can to a true infinity pool without having to like you know use a waterfall. And I think this one might be. I think blue might be the way to go. Yeah, let's try it. It might look better from the outside, and it might look better from up here. But, you can only, you know, get so far. Uh, <laughs> yeah. I don't know. We'll see how it looks. And then we'll... Well, you know, we can always change it out if we decide we don't like it later. You know, with the blue, it does look... It looks good. It, it There's still that edge... But I mean, come on, when is there not an edge for the infinity pool? Here, it just kind of blends into the horizon. So I think it's a little better. Honestly. Huh. I might go bigger with the pool. I mean, this is a small pool for this big house. Yeah, let's do it. Okay, this time I learned that I'm going to put the glass in before I put the water in. That way, I don't have to worry about, you know, falling, sliding, all of the above but look at this look at this glass i think it really looks nice and then i also figured out that i can you know uh create like kind of a little lounge area in the pool and then have like a 
gradual drop off into a deeper section of the pool um, and take advantage of, you know, how my you know, pool or how my house is built here. So, yeah, I got to let's see. Let's make some more glass. This, this is actually pretty fun. All right, that should be good. Glass, let's just do that as blue. Oh, wow, that was all of it. <laughs> Okay, well, I got a lot of blue glass now, which is good because I will need it eventually um, for another building, which I'm going to, you know, work on soon at some point. And now let's just fill these up and then we can start working on like the depth of the pool and like under it now that I've once I get the water all source blocks because there's nothing more annoying than not having like source blocks as the water. Look at that, look at that hot dog. It's not done, but I'm glad. Oh yeah, and if you get like this, it pretty much is an infinity pool. Oh, it's so good. Pools used to be so useless in Minecraft, but now they're so good. Uh, I'm thinking about, hear me out, using, how much deep slate do I have? Do I have deep slate? do and I don't know why it's in here I'm thinking about using deep slate for the bottom because it'll make it look uh, deeper than it actually is um, no let's do this here okay uh, tile yep the deep slate tile all right now let's let's try out the bottom for a sec uh, let's use these for slabs okay so here's what I'm gonna do for about maybe three blocks like this. I'm gonna have like a, a beach club area. You know, something like this. Oh, uh, maybe, maybe one more row. Nah, I'll do five. All right? A beach club area like this. And then I'm debating if I should do just a full drop off or if I should do um, like stepped because normally this is, let's see how many, uh, but I would like this because look, you can stand in the water, but I do want some swimming area. Let's see. Can I get another one, two, three, four, five? Then one, two, three, four, five. Actually, let's just make it like st step down, I guess. Hold on. Uh, hmm. <laughs> this is a little tricky. All right, well, that's the pool. I was thinking about adding like a hot tub, but <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Unless I did like, a, uh, like, you know how sometimes they have those special hot tubs that are like underwater like they, they're just like a divided area okay let me let me demonstrate what i'm thinking here okay or fall off the wall um let's see oh, okay oh did that fill it all up uh i'm thinking something like i don't know like this maybe like I could do a little hot tub right here, have these come out like this and then have, uh, oh. mm, well, cause I want, eh, I don't know. I want it to be. shallower than the pool mm. and I can like put I don't know like that in here I don't know I don't want to focus the whole episode on the pool yeah it's good enough do I need oh, I guess I if I can afford it I might as well do it isn't that right pool logic there we go yeah, that's fine because now 
it doesn't get broken up if I look out here. But it also is like, oh, look at this a little hot tub right here. And you come out here. Actually, what if I just do this? Because I know that they do have like some hot tubs that are like this where it's all like in there and then the resonant water from it heats it. But here's the pool. It's pretty cool. You know, you got this, you got up here, you can like, you know, stand, chill, look out over the view. And then here you've got your little sun uh, thing. I guess we can go ahead and make some chairs. Uh, the question is, what am I going to make them out of? I can make them out of quartz. Let's do three stairs and then three slabs. Oh, there you go. And then I think I want this to just be like a a normal. Oh yeah. <laughs> oh sorry if that sorry if that sounded weird. But I think I just want this to be like a normal, you know, like pool lounge area. Yeah, see, so you can have seats here uh ooh, umbrella umbrella mm, i guess we're having a yellow umbrella but what's cool about this is it will actually oh wait no hmm eh. no that's too low i was gonna say what's cool what the heck why did i do that what's cool about this is it'll actually cast a shadow and i can't believe it but i'm gonna need to tower up to make an umbrella <laughs> there we go all right, so how does this work? I guess I can put, there's a string. Yeah. Oh, this is how you do it. Okay. Oh, and then you do uh, that. Yep. And then, let's see. And then I can do a, what is it? A little, little like extension on each side. Uh, sorry, hold on. Oh, I didn't put a thing there. Sorry. There we go. And then like, yeah. And that way we can kind of make it look like a circle. I mean, I guess as much of a circle as you can have with any Minecraft umbrella. There you go. I don't like that it's yellow. Well, I'll fix that. Maybe if I get a different color carpet. But for now, we have a yellow umbrella um, that only covers one chair because only one person is not focused about getting, uh, on getting, you know, sunlight and stuff. Or they are. I don't know. They aren't? They are. Ah, pfft. Who knows? <laughs> now this may be a yay or nay, but one of the things I like to do to kind of make it look like, uh, you know how like the modern houses have those pathways with uh, stone with grass in between it. This gives you the illusion, but the only annoying thing is this. <laughs> um, and I don't know what to think. I think I'm just going to do it, you know, for now. But <laughs> it's just it's just a little it can get annoying. I'll try not to walk on it um too much, you know, during episodes. But I mean oh, it looks so good though. And this is the only way we can have stuff like that. And so let me see. And don't worry, I won't use it for all of the paths, but you know, I might as well use it for down here. I mean, yeah. <laughs> God, that sounds so bad. All right. Uh, railing. I'm just going to jump over that so you guys don't get too annoyed with it. Um, regular glass. Because, well, you know. Ha! See, look at that. Yep, this will be our railing. And yes, before you say, oh, you're going to get monsters and everything. No, I won't. Because uh, I'm going to make it A, so it's lit up. And B, so that they can't hop up. I always do this uh, with them where they can't hop up. But, you know, I can still look out. And it's not like too crazily um, made. I should have. You know, whatever. 
I'm gonna say I should have done this, but that that looks fine for me. And then we can go up here, and up here I think I'll do like a like a fire pit area, like a little a little lounge area. That'd be cool. I don't know if I should have one by the pool, but nah. I'll just like plant like. Actually, no. I'll keep it trimmed like this. Although over here I can do like a little. Uh, ooh, I could do like a little like bamboo forest thing. You know, get some, uh, no. Wait. Oh, it'd be that. Yeah. Like get some, uh, oh, wait, no, I want to skip one. Get some privacy going. <laughs> did I just say get some privacy going? Yes, I did. Uh, like this. And then. I don't know, just like something to mix it up. You know, because what else am I going to use this area for back here? Can just let it grow out and then any bones and stuff for, for bone meal. You know, we can, I don't know, <laughs> grow it up a little bit back here because I'm not going to use that space for anything. Ugh, if only they let you use bamboo as a, uh, uh, what's it called? Um, for bone and bone meal farms. Then I'd be rich. <laughs> Over here, let's get a little fire pit going. You know, kind of, kind of play the rule of corners. Let's see, it's 19. I don't know how many that's gonna be, but we can have a little ah brick area. Um, yeah. I might need more bricks. <laughs> I mean, it'd be cool if I had a little brick area up here and then, uh, what's it called? You know, I had a fire pit, but if I have this many bricks, that's gonna be kind of dumb, honestly. But down here is looking nice. Let's see. Uh, let's get my stairs. Uh, stone, thank you. There you go, stone stairs. Awesome. I know, I love how I just built, uh, or just got stone, and now I'm using it all. There's that, and then over here we can... Sweet. Oh, I am gonna need more bricks. Okay, um... Let's see, what else can I add? You know what, for color, I can add... Hmm. A cherry tree right here. Uh, you know, just something to break it up. And then... Could add one back here. Like that. Maybe let that grow. Maybe I should take that row away real quick. And let, just let the cherry tree go. Ooh, up here I could always put one. Uh, where would be a good spot? Maybe like right here yeah because i want to have like some trees but not too many to where the yard's crowded because it, it's supposed to be like a well manicured modern lawn and here oh gosh i don't know what i'm gonna do with this maybe i'll add like a club or clubhouse or something but not right now i don't feel like building that <laughs> let's see that looks nice that looks nice all right let's go get some bricks can't forget about these what I use these for is, um, you know, just some like, uh, what's it called? Some decoration pots. So like if I put one here and then say I want to put one here by the fire pit, then I can put leaves on top of it. I know I just got completely distracted, but come on. And this will be cool. <laughs> I can put that in there. And then also in here, I can use them, um, as decoration. So like if I need... Uh, let's say I need, I don't know, something to fill the corner right here. And I can just do that. And then I can just do that. Actually, no, the way I, oh, uh-oh. The way I did it was, there. <laughs> I did it this way. Thank you. Ah, pickaxe is too powerful. 
There we go. Okay, let's just pretend I didn't just get distracted like that. <laughs> but yeah, look at this. You can take a look, see. See my lovely little yard. Well, at least the first layer of it. And you come down here and yeah. Oh, look, the cherry tree grew. Kind of not the direction I wanted it to grow. But you know what? It adds some chaos in here. <laughs> Got plenty of these. Oop. There we go. Yeah. Got plenty of bricks, which will be good because, I don't know, I like bricks. I need bricks. And we can have a bigger, you know, patio that has a fire pit. Um, so let's go ahead and... Oh, I was going to say, it better not already be... <laughs> The sun, I already have the sun going down. That would be quite rude and annoying, if I'm being honest. Let's see, so, what is that, two? One right there. Oh, sweet, and then I can also just... See, I just want them on this side. Because then... It's kind of like a, not a, not a privacy wall, but you know. Yeah. It just kind of marks the area off. Uh, ooh, and then, hmm. Okay, hold on. I'm thinking, I'm thinking. What if? Sorry. <laughs> What is this whole area? And now I was going to say, what if this whole area is like a, a thingamabob, but, <laughs> but I can do something that's cool where I got, okay, one, two, three, and then boom, boom, right? Hold on, hear me out. Oh, I only got three. Well, that's okay though. We only need the villager to go to work. Um, but what if I do like three and then on the fourth one, start going this way. I don't know, just for something cool. And then let me just fill this back in real quick. There we go. Cause I'm, I'm trying to think like, okay. Is that, oh, I'm stupid. Okay, so we're gonna need to go one more out. That's okay. Oh, right. <laughs> Let's see, so it's got one, two, three. Oh, so that's actually four. So one, two, three, four. Good, cause I need, what is it? Stone slabs, which, do I have those? Yes, I do. And I'll need campfires. Ooh. Don't know if I like the, the big one. Um. Ah. Eh, well, we'll figure it out. <laughs> Let's see if I can grab one of you. And then put you like that. We can get our campfire going. I don't know, just for something cool. Or should it be, oh, should it be sunken? Hmm, no. I guess I can do like a, a pathway or something like over to here that follows like a loose cadence and that is a god awful pathway. <laughs> um, sorry about that. Okay, okay. Things are getting bad. Hold on. <laughs> Oh, wait, that one's, that one's actually okay. Let's 
something like that. Yeah, maybe. Uh, mm -hmm. Not too sure. Okay, okay, stop that. There we go. Uh, huh. Yeah, this is interesting. I'm not too good at um, designing stuff like this. I'm good at like designing this, but uh, not too not too much of this. But we'll we'll see what happens. Ugh. I'm starting to spin my wheels on this. I took away the path because it was kind of messing with like the flow of everything, and I don't really know what to do here. I want to have a fireplace out here, but I don't know. <laughs> It, it, it's just annoying right now, so let's see if I can grab some sticks. If I can find some sticks, hello? Uh, okay, we're using you and making sticks. And then, so what else do I need? I need you. Let's make some campfires. I only need three but you know whatever one two three awesome hmm i don't know this is kind of oh yeah look at that i mean here at least we have a good like lounge spot i'll have to add some chairs down in here i think the sunken you know what look is the way to go uh but i don't know what i'm gonna add right here I don't know, man. We'll figure that out, but I'm kind of happy with how this turned out. Now, I'm going to need to go down here and grab some uh, that, and then grab some moss carpet. Oh. It's a big one. Oh, I kind of like how it does that arching thing. <laughs> All right, now let, like, let's do... Yeah, this, so then I can have my lines. But uh, nothing, you know, it doesn't look like too weird. Oh, look at that. Oh, this is going to look nice. Then I don't have to worry about. There we go. Oh, sorry, guys. <laughs> I'm sorry. This seemed good at the moment. And honestly, it still looks good. I don't, I don't know if I'm doing something wrong with this, but. Hey, you know, it's. You don't get anywhere if you don't take risks, you know? Ooh. This yard's a little crazy now. Um, but luckily this way, I can hide some lighting under it. Thank you. Boop. Just enough to, you know, get by. There we go. Uh... Yeah, I'll add some here. And I know it's probably making you mad if I'm... <laughs> that I'm adding... Or breaking the shovel... Or breaking this without a shovel. Dang! <laughs> but... Uh, everything... It, it would just... Uh, my shovel's too powerful right now. Needs, uh, needs to be humbled real quick. That should look lovely at night. Sweet! Again, uh, this pro this area is more of a more of a um, work in progress. Yeah, and I guess I can kind of start doing this down here. I don't know. Got to clean up this area, and then here. What, the good thing is, with all this, I don't need to make a retaining wall. Or I can make a retaining wall for here. So actually, that's what I'm going to do right now. Because no one will think it's weird that I don't have... Uh, or that I did. Or that it's like a little wild right here. Jeez, I, my mind is all over the place today. I am sorry. Uh, oh, I dug one too deep. There we go. Um, I don't need you. 
to start filling in these areas. Then I can have a retaining wall right here. Okay. Oh boy. This is going to be interesting. Okay. I'm going to have to get rid of my famous little little lump area. <laughs> Let's see. Actually, I won't be complaining too much about that. Just kind of like cleaning up this area, making sure it looks nice, making sure I've got a good place to walk. Okay. There we go. There we go. I don't know if I should. Well, yeah, I guess I should. If I'm going to terrace, yeah, terrace this down, then I'm sorry. If I'm talking weird or sound weird or making some sounds weird, I've got a canker sore in my mouth. So, yeah, that's fun. All right, let's grab our scaffolding and see. Where's our scaffolding? Oh, it's probably down here. See how this looks at night. I think it'll look good. And I can always take a picture. <laughs> um, but I also need to see the, you know, the lighting, make sure that all of that's okay. I don't, I'm not worried about any monster spawning, but where is, the heck is my scaffolding? I know I just had it. Oh, there's some, that, that's enough. <laughs> all right, let's check you out. I think this will be a grand view. Let's see, let's stand right here. This is the middle. And then, oh, Siri activated. Let's head up. Is that a good view? Oh, well, we'll see. Oh, I'm excited. Hmm. Oh, there's already a creeper out there. Take a picture for that. Well, I mean, it's not fully done yet, but we can make it look nice. But it does look nice as is. Let's get some shut eye. Oh, I gotta get my gra ah, my glass. <laughs> Creeper hole. This this area needs to be really tame. Look at you trying to get in. You can't get any guy. What do you think about that? <laughs> see. Oh, I, oh, oh, perfect. I was like, oh gosh, I hope I have glass and I have just enough uh, okay I'm gonna fix that up get some shut eye and then we should be able to wrap things up all right that should be a good stopping point our trees have grown up the bamboo is growing everything's looking good the clicks are clacking I added this in here just because well I don't want monsters coming over the wall um, unless it's like I don't know a little spider or something but I think we can get a good view of this Let's see. I hope it looks good. I'm excited. That's the screenshot button. Oh, look at that. Oh, all right, let's grab that. Let's try one. Zoomed in. Oh, sweet. All right. I'm gonna play with this little <laughs> thing of a bob let's try it from like a a different angle like over here <laughs> oh my god it feels it feels like i'm moving so slow all right uh there we go all right uh because i want to focus on the yard itself hmm i don't know we'll see <laughs> I forgot that I had the wheat. Oh, yes. I might have to zoom in a little more. Uh, options. Oh, yeah. There we go. And that should do it. I think it looks nice. Eh, there we go. But let's get back down. Where we can wrap everything up for today and then friday we will be actually actually yeah we'll be tackling a serious storage problem that we have and i think that's the next thing that needs immediate attention on this 
agenda. But anyway, guys, thank you all for joining uh, today's episode of Back to Beta Days. I know it's a little bit of a slower one, and I was just building, but we got some cool stuff done. We built an infinity pool. We built this entire yard and started to make everything look nice back here so that we're not living in, you know, the boonies. <laughs> Next episode, like I said, we will be con a serious storage issue that I have going on behind me and honestly I think I'm just gonna warehouse it all I don't know why I had my cinematic camera up like that for a while but again thank you for watching the video please leave a like comment and subscribe if you're new I make videos every Monday Wednesday and Friday with random videos and streams in between until next time I'm Beanin this has been back to beta days peace